Welcome to our very first Fanuc talk. We are excited to discuss market trends, product releases, and amazing applications all from around the Fanuc universe with our guests on a regular basis. I am very happy to welcome the president and CEO of Fanuc Europe, Mr. Shinichi Tansawa, who will be joining us today via video conference. I would also like to welcome the vice president of robotics, Ralf Völlinger. A welcome to the head of robotic sales coordination, Manuel Ebner, and welcome to the head of European technical support robotics, Claude Seiler. Well, we could have hardly picked a better date as today is the opening day of the IREX show in Tokyo, where Fanuc will present new members of the CRX Cobot family for the very first time. Thank you very much for joining us today, Mr. Tansava. Now, I understand you are currently in Fanuc's customization and distribution center in Luxembourg, right? Hello, Kimzi. Uh, as you can see, behind me is a big uh, robot storage. Uh, we uh, store 4,000 robots and 800 machines produced in Japan and uh, brought here. And we keep it and then do the customization and then uh, ship to the customer right away. So this is an exciting day for Fanuc. With the release of the new CRX models, you are extending Fanuc's collaborative robot range to 11 models. Let me ask you this, what does this mean for Fanuc and its customers? And also, why are cobots becoming more and more important in today's industrial workplace? And what type of manufacturer can benefit from cobot technology? Fanuc uh, sold uh, 800,000 uh, robots in the past uh, the years, and uh, Fanuc robot is uh, everywhere in the world, in the manufacturing area, and we believe that uh, that kind of number of the robot and the automation will increase even more, uh, because that the particular European customer need automation. Uh, we see uh, the shortage of the manpower, or in order to run, the factory 24 hours, you need the uh, automation and robot is suitable for the automation, which brings the benefit to the customer for the, the longer working hours uh, without the human and then cost saving. And at the same time, increase the quality so that uh, we believe that the, the robot uh, population will increase and among those robots, a uh, cobot will increase even further. Uh, I understand. Can you explain to our European viewers Fanuc's relationship to IREX and why it selected this event to showcase the new models? IREX is uh, one of the biggest robot show organized in, uh, in Tokyo, Japan. And Fanuc historically uh, uh, plays the biggest booth uh, in IREX and always uh, uh, introduced a uh, new robot uh, in that trade show. Last cobot uh, was introduced uh, the also in IREX, and this time, after two years, we are happy to announce uh, those cobot in front of all those audience. Thank you very much, Mr. Tensava, for joining us today. It was very interesting to hear your insights. Have a great day. Thank you very much, and uh, have a nice day to you. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here in our conversation. And Mr. Felling, I'd like to begin with you. Can you share with us what makes Fanuc CRX family so special and what differentiates it from the other cobots in the marketplace? Yes, the CRX robot series is a very lightweight <coughs> cobot series. It offers the same intelligent features as all Fanuc products and also uh, has the same reliability as all Fanuc products in the market. Can you elaborate on that? How is that? Yes, the CRX went through extensive testing. Um, it comes with eight years maintenance free and also as all products uh, from Fanuc with lifetime support. And what makes the CRX family in general so unique? 
as I said, it's very lightweight, very easy to teach, very easy to set up. Um, it comes with IP67 protection class right out of the box, and it is uh, uh, very easy to, to use for all robot users. Now, today is, of course, a special day because not one, not two, but three brand new Cobot models will be released. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yes, um, we will complement our um, collaborative robot series with three new models, the CRX-5, the CRX-20 and 25, and it will complement the entire robot lineup to a total of 11 um, from a, a payload from starting from 4 kilograms to 35 kilograms. So the three models, are they all going to be released at the same time and what differentiates them? No, the, um, we're going to introduce now the CRX-20 with 20 kilo payload. Uh, this model will be released now and can be ordered. And uh, the CRX-5 with 5 p uh, kilo payload and the CRX-25 with a 25 kilo payload will be released in June. And also first units of those models will be shipped in June. Okay. And are they easy to use? They're very easy to use. Mr. Seiler will show it later to you. And I'm sure you can learn that in 10, 15 minutes, you can program this robot. You said I can learn. You're yes. talking about me specifically yes. now. Okay, Mr. Seiler, I will test you on that yes. if we can actually do it in 10 minutes, if you can show me how to use it. Then. Of course, I'm going to show you. But before, Mr. Ebner, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Let's talk about the different applications, like what manufacturing fields can use this cobot? Yeah, well, we're not only talking about cool robots, but also cool applications in the end. And uh, first of all, I'd like to mention the arc welding segment. So we really see that, uh, especially the welders, really appreciate the easy to use and easy to teach functionality of our CRX family, the one that is already available, but of course, also the ones that's still to come. Um, we also have many, many installations in the field of uh, machine tending applications, the so-called load and unload applications means parts are loaded into machine tools, into bending machines or other processes and also unloaded again. Uh, we also have quite a, quite a lot of installations in the field or in the logistical applications. So this means palletizing, picking, packing, all those uh, related uh, topics. But it's also used for quality inspection tasks, for instance. So gap measurements, uh, other quality uh, yeah, other quality insurance uh, topics and uh, yeah so that's that's many many different applications and I'm sure there's many many more out there which we're not aware of yet. What about the food industry can they use cobots also? Of course they can and for, for that purpose we even have a um, special uh, version of, of the CRX family so that comes with food grade grease and a different painting to be suitable for, for the uh, food related environments. What about the peripheral applications? What can you tell us about those? Well, there's many, many different uh, equipment um, vendors out there and they have ready to use applications and, uh, and uh, equipment available. That starts from grippers, whether it's electrical grippers, whether it's pneumatic grippers or vacuum grippers uh, that goes with uh, or goes along with tool changing systems, typical tool changers to make it even more flexible in the daily use. Um, there are dress pack vendors uh, who offer out of the box um, plug and play solutions for, for dress packs. But we also have our own technologies and we, so the CRX comes also with um, camera applications. So we offer our own IR vision system. We offer force sensing uh, technology that is uh, really a plug and play solution in the end. But there's also other, um, I would even say more sophisticated equipment available, like smart feeders that are used um, to separate parts before they are uh, picked by the robot itself, or even uh, to put the CRX on a mobile platform, a so-called AGV. Okay, so there's endless possibilities, really. You mentioned plug and play just a few times now. Um, I'd like to go into that segment a little bit and see how easy it is to use. Like, what type of training does Fanuc offer? There's two steps we, we offer. So uh, the, the first one and the very first one would uh, probably probably be, sorry, to, to start from our website. We have um, different modules, so-called e-learning modules available for you that um, support you and guide you like a tutorial through the startup phase, the, the first settings phase, and also the initial programming phase. So my learning process, I'm, you are talking about me watching these videos, right? right. Not a, a computer expert person, which I, I am not yet. So I would unpack it, I would watch the videos, and I would be ready to go? Right. And if you're uncertain you're not, then we still offer 
uh, and we won't leave you alone. So then we'll still offer different courses in our academies right next to you. Mr. Seiler, you say it's easy to use, yes? Yes, exactly. And I can show you with the robots that I brought with me today. Um, I think that's a great idea. Before we go and uh, look at the cobots a little bit closer, can you explain the key features to us? Yeah, there are uh, three main key features, I would say, for our CRX series. The first one is uh, safety. The robot is safe to be used in the environment together with, um, with the human. And that's because the robot is uh, certified, is ISO safety certified. Um, but not only the certifications, also the, the, the look and the design of the robot uh, is made to, to, to be safe. So, for example, there is no sharp edges that could, for example, hurt uh, the person. A second main feature is the ease of use. So the, we heard already today that it's, it's lightweight, so it's easy to, to install. There's no need of special tools like, like forklifts. Um, the programming is done by a conventional tablet, so by, by dragging and dropping um, the, the, the icons. Um, you can move the robot by the hand, so it's really easy, easy to use. And uh, the third feature is the high reliability of the robot. Uh, Fanuc has almost 50 years experience developing uh, robots uh, and motors, and all this knowledge is inside this robot. So that makes it a really reliable um, robot. Well, I'd say let's take a look at uh, the Cobot in action next and uh, go over there, right? Yes, let's go over. earlier that it would be very easy to program this cobot. So here we are. Can you show me? Yes. So here I brought uh, with me the CRX 20 IAL, our new robot with 20 kilogram payloads, a little bit more than 1.4 meter reach. I installed it here on uh, this table. It was rather easy to install with two people lifted on there. Um, How heavy is it? This is 40 kilogram uh, only. So with two people, it's easy, easy to lift. The controller was put inside put into the normal uh, electrical power socket and um, the tablet connected in order to program this robot. Now, is this a special tablet or is this a tablet that comes with its standard? This is a tablet that comes with its standard. It's an, a standard available uh, tablet as people can buy. People can also use other brands of tablets if they prefer, um, but we deliver this, this one um, with, with the robot. So I want to show you how to use the tablet now and also the robot in order to make a robot program. So I simply press the button and it allows you now to move the robot by hand. So you can move the robot um, and program it. Okay, so I'll uh, go ahead and move it. Oh, okay. It's very easy to move. It's easy to move. Especially thinking about this 20 kilogram um, on it right now. So yeah, at the end there's 20 kilo. It didn't feel like 20 kilos. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so for the robot can handle 20 kilogram. It allows now the robot to do applications like machine tending, so loading, unloading machines with where heavy steel parts get, get produced, or palletizing applications where with bigger or more heavy um, boxes. Assuming now this is the position you want, maybe you want to teach as one point, mm -hmm. I can now take the tablet and uh, there's some icons I can easily drag and drop. Um, so I take now this point and done. So that, that po uh, position is now programmed inside the robot. Okay, so that's our starting position. So how do we get to the next position? How do we move there? Yeah, the robot is still in the hand guidance mode. So the light is blinking, so we can still take the robot and, uh, by the hand and, and move, it, move it to a second position. Okay, so I'll move it to a second position? Yes, go ahead. Let me try this. 
So now that's the second position. Um, again, drag and drop, the, the position is position is saved. Now, what if this wasn't a great position, then you can just un undrag and drop, you take it out and you choose exactly. a new position. Exactly, just press the button, undrag it, uh, and, and reteach it. But you're, you're happy with this? Can this be our movement so far? Yes, for example, the robot picks up on one part, moves to another side, and, and drops, drops a part. Um, so now I will run this program, um, which we have now taught. So the robot will now move to the first position. And of course, I can also adjust the speed with which it yes. moves. Yes, so I was now uh, putting it rather slowly, mm -hmm. um, so moving to the first position and to the second position that we have. Now, you moved. mentioned a little bit earlier the safety uh, features that it has. So if yes. it moves and my hand is in the way, what happens then? Let's see. I execute the program again, so it okay. moves. And if you now touch the robot, as soon as you touch it, it stopped. It stops. Okay. Very but really good. keeping the, the human operator safe, uh, working next uh, to the robot. And I didn't have to push in lots. I just sort of yeah, exactly. firmly said stop, and it exactly. stopped. Great, OK. Can you tell me a little bit more about the other special features in the CRX? Yeah, so I've shown you now the safety features, which stops the robot as soon as you touch it. I've shown you the, um, the easy programming, the ease of use. Um, also, from terms of ease of use, there's um, design elements like the opening here. For example, you cannot stick, uh, you can stick in your hand, but the hand will not get crushed. Mm -hmm. It has a uh, smooth surface, no sharp edges. And also, the robot is IP67, um, has IP67. That means it's protected well against dust and water. So, in, a, in an environment, for example, with oil, for machine tending, there's a lot of oil which can drop on the robot, but the robot itself is protected against this. So besides the oil coming from the outside, what about the oil coming from the inside? What if I work, say, in a bakery, for instance? Is there a special food grade type version of this? Exactly. Um, so the CRX 10IA L and 10IA robot we have also with options, with epoxy paint uh, to clean the robot and also with food graded grease. Um, so it makes it more easy to be used in, uh, in uh, food environments. How do I clean a cobot? Well, in this case, we can simply take a tissue and, uh, and clean it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so that was very easy. Thank you so much for showing me. That, was, uh, that was super intuitive and yeah. super easy to use. So I really enjoyed that. And I would like to thank you very much for joining us on our very first Fanuk Talk. Have a great day.